Gruus, stay away from the sandworm. Sandworm bad. You will be swallowed whole. Whoa, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Box. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Hit! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you can't glide at all with that. That's a bummer. To check on it, like, and then, and then if something goes wrong, I'll, uh, do some masonry? I don't know. He's cute. I knew it. The seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple. Uh. Fuck your toes. Yeah. <laughs> Waggle, waggle, waggle. Okay, well. Oh, does he have back toes? Gross. Ha ha. Oh. Gross. <laughs> As I destroyed the pustules all over his body, his feet. Oop. What do I. Oh, you hit it. Oh, am I hitting it deeper in his head? That's alarming. No, I don't. That's not what I meant. I was trying to reset it because it was pointing the wrong way. Its enormous size and ominous aura cannot be compared with previously encountered monsters. No? Oh, it worked. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got to do an upward swing. I don't think he liked that. What? Attacks. You can't stay ahead of me. I've got tricksy powers of my own. Ah, it's like a splinter. I've, I've heard these distressing stories of people like sitting there watching TV and then like a splinter suddenly like ex just escapes from their body. They're just sitting there with, their, with barefoot and like uh, this nightmarishly long splinter that they couldn't get out just suddenly just gets removed from their body by like the internal pressures that are always there. Is that enough time passes their body can, will just kind of remove it on its own in many cases. He's the toe. And the splinters in his brain, his toe brain. The brain that's in the toe. 
can't help but feel like I'm not making much progress here. He really does just screw off and just come up here anyway. In fact, the primary form of seemingly- uh, The closest thing to progress I've been doing so far leads to him suddenly making massive progress. Which is not the best feedback for me. Yeah. Ow. Oh, he's getting fast. Gotta fight the camera a little bit now. Ugh. There we go. It's taken his brain a long time to realize that there's a spike in it. And then all those scales that made up his body scatter amongst the entire environment and become 100 collectibles. Oh god, is it actually happening? Oop. I saw all those scales and definitely thought, like, those look like they're gonna become separate from him. Now, box. Strike the ceiling, ceiling spike with a skyward strike. And restore the seal quickly. And also, Groos is here. Huh? <laughs> Still uh, thinking you're gonna save Zelda? Who's talking? Is it Impa? Or is it the asshole? Oh, no. Nice going, Box. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awa awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it alive, ca captive. I'm good at this. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time and wish to act. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I, I would not be surprised if the seal gave away again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with, with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Box. There is much to discuss. And also, I'm here, huh? <laughs>
Well, that kind of showed him face to face up with his denial of whether or not I, my character is capable of doing anything. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your Skyward Strike might just do it. Ah, sorry to disappoint you, boy. But for now, your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Barren Woods, Elden Volcano, and Luneru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek it out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of the song's precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your only are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one who, whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah. You sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see it in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Box, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. <laughs> the Ballad of the Goddess. Based on my projections, this is likely the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony. I calculate an 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide an additional information on this song. When the three sacred flames have imbued your sword, only then will you have the will the gate of time open for you. Yeah. I'm kinda curious. Nope, I can't leave from here because there's no sky sky sight. Line of sight. We're not we're outside. That's what I mean to say. I feel like I've seen a disproportionate number of games from Japan that talk about purification and like purification rituals and having to do on go on pilgrimages to purify yourself and so on. Obviously it's a recurring thing in Zelda games. Specifically I don't remember if I saw it in other games, but in this game, Zelda is purifying herself at Springs, and that's the same thing she does in Breath of the Wild. I don't remember if there was other ones too. And now I'm going to purify my sword in a similar manner at the similar locations. Great Gorod, I have found some. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threatened to roll me down a hill. What can I do? I got you, fam. Do I have a, a visual aid when I do it here on my own? Nope. 
It doesn't seem to matter. It's a Sheikah! This is it. Oh, uh, this is it! One of the talking statues the ancient text spoke of. There's just no mistaking it. Oh, wang. Oh. That's not what I expected to have happen. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might just pop out of the ground with a boing. What a bizarre detail of the world. These stones that jiggle and talk to you. But they're supposedly stone. I think they're called Sheikah stones in other games. Now they're, called, now they're, they're currently gossip stones. It's just like the old text says, buddy. It appeared with a boing and spoke of some strange t in some strange tongue. This is a major leap forward in my study of the talking statues. Next up are those goddess walls. I've got an inkling I will not have to look very far for those either. And I mean to find one no matter what. Good luck. I'm gonna catch a bird. Bird D. Bird D. Bird D. Yeah! Oh, you get a feather. You got a blue bird feather. Very few small birds possess the sky blue plumage, making these feathers extremely rare. Ah! I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. I was like, the game doesn't ca let you catch a live bird, does it? <laughs> and the answer is almost? You almost catch a live bird. <clears throat> kind of. Now I can play the harp, so I can at least try to do that one lighthouse tower thing. I wish the sky was smaller in this game. <laughs> Did they let me... I started closer to the town this time, didn't I? Oh, right, yeah. Because each time I'm starting from a different one of the warp t locations, and Farron Woods is the closest. So what was the rest of the inscription? Because I can I can now play a song. Let the sound of the goddess's song beneath the light's radiance upon onto her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Let let sound the goddess's song beneath the light's radius onto her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. Can you just play a song like right here probably. I wish the music in the background would chill out, because it's not really helping. match the icon on the bottom of the screen, but I don't know if that matches anything. I don't know. Uh, I don't love how this... I don't love the ambiguity of this instrument, where I can't tell if I'm doing it right. Just because, like, if you, uh... If you played like the uh, ocarina, you just input, you just do the inputs, and you're like, okay, he played this, he plays the song when you do it right, so you know you did it right, and then, you, then you troubleshoot from there, like, okay, maybe this isn't actually where the song is for, or maybe it's the wrong song, or maybe something else. 
But here there's like an ambiguity that I'm not sure what to do with, where I'm just like, I... Am I on... Am, am I completely pursuing the wrong point entirely? Or am I just inputting it wrong? Hey there, Box. Thanks again for that stamina potion. Since you gave it to me, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. You'll see. I'll be as tough as you in no time. You will not. So I'll probably talk to one of the professor type looking elf people. The ones that definitely look like Lord of the Rings elves with their long hair and everything. Are you curious where he's gone now? Hey. Yeah, I just checked Grusa's room and the guy's gone. You got any idea where he went? Maybe he had to run away because of his broken heart? What a tough guy, huh? <laughs> just dunking on this guy, huh? These past few days, I swear I hear a voice every time I walk past the restroom at night. Who in the world is it is in there? I just wish they'd pipe down. Oh, the restroom at night. I kind of, you're talking shit about them, but I'm like, this, this poor person has intestinal distress on a daily basis. And I think you're the one that cooks for them, so... Maybe you need to step it up. I think he might be endangering people. Ah, Box. How's your search for Zelda going? Sorry for leaving it all up to you. I know you must be doing everything you can to find her. Anyway... There's a lot of plants growing indoors. You're back, Box. Good to see you're still in one piece. So, how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding Zelda? Hmm. hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Dang it! Listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you, but if it's the lyrics you're after, I could recite them for you. Let's see. Oh, youth, guided by this. Once again, whenever there's any kind of other music thing goes going on, if the old music keeps playing in the environment, it's just kind of distracting. Why are you saying it so slowly if you're not singing it? O youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. Unite earth and sky, you just mean because the sky lot is separate from the earth? That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. <clears throat> I can't hold A to make him go faster either. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. So I need to make the two fans point at the light tower and then play a song. Or at least I need to point them at that. Which is the thing I was trying to do before, but the pinwheel's missing, so maybe I need to go to the the Vulcan, the Vulcan, the volcano? Whatever the place was called. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing or t about two whirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean, two whirling sails? Hmm. They're windmills, you fool. They're windmills. 
I just need to figure out how to turn the other one. You, you would think I could just take the pinwheel off of the other windmill and take it to the other one and then just use that to move them around. But I guess not. <laughs> Let's help somebody with their gastrointestinal conundrum. Yep. That's a sound. What a <laughs> what a bizarre like thing to come out of your voice actor. Sounds like a baby's choking in here. Oh, it's just you. <laughs> Five, six, seven? I'll do my best and someday I'll be strong. Right, so yeah, it's, we're still work in progress. <laughs> Bookie. It is I, the toilet ghost. <laughs> Ooh, somebody, please, somebody help me. I need to eat either more or less fiber, but I'm not sure which one. Oh, paper, please, somebody, bring me paper. Bring me some paper, any kind of paper at all. Ooh. Uh, paper. Last time I used a, a deed, I think, in Majora's Mask. Because they've done this story before. I'm not giving you my sailcloth. Fuck you. Uh. These aren't very papery items. This tumbleweed? How are things? Now that you're here, you should find yourself a bed to lie down and take a rest. You're the one that wanted to help with the situation. I can't talk to you about how to get paper. Where in the world would I go for paper? What are all the locations in the game? I mean, we're in a school. We could wipe our ass with books. No running in the holes. Could tear, take down this map. Wipe his ass with a map. I'm a good person. I'm thinking back to all the different items we've gotten in shops so far, and all the ones that I've had have an item check. It doesn't bode well for him. Alright, there's the- yep, there's the three purifications. I recognize at least that icon from Ocarina, but maybe all of them? I'm not sure. I don't think a wallet counts as paper. I don't think the music sheet we have there is a physical thing that exists. Hmm. Maybe the idea is that we just keep this in mind for later. And we'll remember later. It's like, oh my god, paper! I know, just the person who needs this. It's like somebody who's been in misery for, like, years. A new character joins the village now that they finally escaped the, uh, the bathroom after years of servitude.